Hi guys, so welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I have a really cool knitting video for you prepared. I want to show you how you can make plant color pooling, which is basically what you do when you use multicolored wool and you want to make a pattern out of it as well, um, like here on this example. So I made myself a cross pattern, so brown and blue crossing the other. Um, so yeah, I love what you can do with wool, um, if you know what you're doing. Um, so anyway, I used this kind of wool called my Boshi, so multicolored, as you can see. Um, let me show you the labels really quick. So this is C17 Fowl. So yeah, I did another color pattern before. I think it was called Flamingo and it was a bit different, but um, I just experimented a bit um, and it turned out that also this type of wool uh, works well. Um, it's a bit difficult because you need to find a piece of wool that has the exact same, let's say, intervals of coloring. So same lengths of color and also in the same order each time. Um, so if this is not the case, you're not going to get the results you want. So yeah, carefully pick your wool. And apart from that, you're also going to be needing, um, of course, a special knitting technique. This is the pearl pattern. Um, you can find it on our channel as well. Um, I already did it and I'll show you um, how to do this cool thing too. But maybe if I'm too fast in this video, you can check out the older one. It's a bit slower there. In any case, this is pretty simple um, because it's just double crochets and single crochets. Um, so the double crochets always go through the single crochet from the last round. So it's a bit tighter in one part and then there's a loop between the tight spots. And there's also always two knots um, over one another. And that's how you get the pattern pretty much. So yeah, I like it a lot. Also, what I wanted to mention, um, the width is also kind of changeable, so you could do doubled if you wanted to, but in this case, I just wanted to do it simple this way. So all in all, this is the full length, so stay tuned for instructions. So check if your wool is, as I said, equal in color length and color switching because if it's not, you're going to have issues and this is um, not going to work. So yeah, you basically won't be able to get the pattern out of the wool at all. So yeah, I'll just roll this out. So here we have this mustard color. I'll display it like this, light blue, brown in between the blue and then again, so after this row we have the same deal over again. As you can see, this is matching. So it starts with blue and I'll start where it goes from the blue all the way here to the brown. Yeah, the brown. So we can start with our chains. So now I'll begin with a whole row of chains, so all the way to the point where light blue goes again to brown. So it's gonna be much more obvious in a second. So here we are now, it goes from brown, light blue, dark blue, mustard and brown again, dark blue over here. I think we're back at the beginning now. Yep, brown, blue, blue, brown and mustard. So 
So this is my width and we can begin. I have here um, two single crochets and the third will be a double crochet. So just watch what I do, purl pattern. I'll just keep going until the end the same way. Yeah, also when I say the end, so not up to here, just until I'm done with the color row. So I finished my color row and now I'll take one chain out. So this one. And then here goes the single crochet. And now back. You need to experiment a bit, so this really depends on the wool you have. So maybe we'll need to modify it a bit to make the pattern visible. Sometimes it works better if you don't get rid of, but put an extra knot in there. But all in all, it shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. So just go back um, and up and down. I mean, actually left and right. So all in all, pay attention and don't get discouraged if you don't um, succeed right away. I'll go back and hope it works out, so this is always up to you. And here are always single crochets and double crochet. Yeah, so here I am right now. And as you can see, um, the pattern that I want to get is here. So yeah, I guess I guessed it right. But actually, um, yeah, from this point over here, I want to fix it a bit. So I'll do that part again. So now it's much better, I'm really satisfied now. So I'll finish it up a bit and then I'll be back with the results. So here I am, I did two spools, um, you can see the pattern. So the crossing of the yellow, but also the crossing of the blue tones. Well, actually all the colors go in a cross. So yeah, I like this a lot. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you maybe want a, to see a different pattern or if you did this pattern in a different way. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video and the pattern, feel free to shoot us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel and that way never miss a new video we post. So yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope to see you again on our channel and I wish you a great day. Bye!